Hey, what's up you guys? So, this video is gonna be completely different than anything that I've done before in the past. It's not really a shoe review, it's kind of like a mixture of like a room tour and then just being on Kiesler Air Force Base. So for those of you that don't know, I'm in the Air National Guard, which is, you know, basically just a part of the Air Force. Most people would probably just call it the Air, like, you know, the Air Force Reserves, but it actually, there actually is an Air National Guard. Most people were like mind blown by that, I don't know why. But I know that, you know, this could potentially produce a new audience of people that want to know about tech school. So I'm going to try and provide that. This specifically is more of just like, you know, quarantine, like the 15 days you'll be here quarantine if you're breaking training, reclass or anything like that. I'm actually both. I was a break in training originally and then I got reclass. So technically I qualify as both, but you know, what is typical typically class for the most part. My first um, set school was client systems. My second one, which I'm in now, is gonna be knowledge management, which is pretty similar. And I think that my base told me I could have gotten away before it, but I actually like tech school, which I know probably sounds weird to a lot of you. So I didn't mind coming back again. Um, but this video specifically, you know, it's just quarantine. So if you actually wanna know the experience of peace and everything, this probably isn't the best video for that. But like I said, the main reason I wanna do that is I know that it could produce a new audience of people who are either A, thinking about joining the Air Force, or B, our break and train, our reclass, gonna have to quarantine on Kiesler. And, you know, it's not too bad. It gets kind of boring, but just bring stuff with you to do. That's the main thing that I can tell you. Um, Like, you know, they give you three meals a day. Like, there's really like a whole schedule that they give you um, for Monday through Sunday. And yeah, like literally everything that you need is like taken care of, if you can see. That hopefully you can pause and see. This is pretty much it. When you get here, like everything's gonna be taken care of. You don't have to think to do much. And the only real thing you had to do is just do accountability, which is on the piece of paper. And things you know are subject to change. By the time you're here or whatever, things are probably completely different. Because this is my second time coming to Keysley Air Force Base. So yeah, like things are a complete 360. Or, sub, or 180, my bad, 180 from what they used to be. Um, Cause you know, you can't leave base at all whether you're in quarantine or not, which is you know, completely different than what we went through. Um, and then also I know a few people that I went through tech school the first time with, you know, watching my videos. So if you're watching this, I'm back here again. Yeah, finally happened, but anyway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the room tour. And if there's anything you want me to add as far as, you know, like knowledge to do with, you know, tech school, quarantine or anything like that, just let me know. And I'll try to, you know, fill you in in the next videos where there's for um, knowledge management, tech school or whatever. Just let me know. Yep. So I'm going to jump to the room tour real quick. All right, guys, so when you first walk in, all you basically see is just the two sinks, you know, right there, and right there. I'm going to go ahead and show you the closet that I use right now. And mace. basically, you know, I just brought my Yeezy Quantos from home, my red ones, my Bordeaux sevens. I got an extra pair of pants. I got an NC State Wolfpack um, sweater and a Chicago Bulls one. It's actually ironic that I brought the Wolfpack one because I'm actually part of the 336 training squadron and we're called the Wolfpack. So that's kind of ironic. And then I just have, you know, my basic deodorant, um, shampoo, and then cologne and shaving cream. And then this is supposed to be the soap wrap, soap rack. I found a penny as heads up, so you know that's good luck. I saved it. Um, and then this was for your toothbrush, but I don't have a real toothbrush. I have an electric one, and I, I'm afraid of it falling, so I just leave it right there. And it's just the rest of like my shower amenity stuff. Um, there's a basic, you know, mirror right there that you can use, and it's got a towel rack right there as well as two in the bathroom with the toilet and like another shelf on top of it. So I don't know why the light does this. I don't know if there's something wrong with the switch, but it like blinks like a good four times before it actually comes on. So it feels like it's, you know, the bathroom of broken dreams on the office plan, but. And then so for the shower, it's just, you know, pretty generic tile shower. The shower rack thing was already here. I didn't bring that from home or anything. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, like the floor is kind of disgusting. Like I would never step foot in there without like my shower slides on. That's how you get foot aids. Anyway, then, you know, here's the other one. It's pretty much the same as the first one. Let's see if it's as disgusting. All right, yeah, it's just as disgusting. That is horrible. Um, but yeah, same thing, you know, another towel rack. Um, and there's a mirror right here, like a full body mirror. So, you know, you can check yourself out. Um, and then 
Here's the other closet. You're not supposed to use both. I have like, you know, some trash in here that I haven't thrown away yet. But you're not supposed to use it, otherwise you fail like inspection. But so while you're in quarantine, it's not really handled the same way. Um, so here's my desk. You know, I brought a few pictures from home. I got some Air Force paperwork and then just some random stuff that I've put up there. Um, here's the schedule. I'll try and go more in depth about that a little bit later along in the video. And there's some extra waters that I've saved up like from quarantining. Um, I brought a few books from home. Most of them are like financial, like on the financial side of things. A few more like theological books. Um, and then I brought my NSX Mini 11. Um, I haven't used it yet because, you know, of course, like I said, time and time again, I am in quarantine, so I don't have too much interesting stuff happening. I have some extra film in case I run out. And then I have a very low graded PSA 4 Waylord EX Pokemon card that I brought from home. Um, and then I have what I consider to be the shoe of the year for 2020, the off-white Jordan 5s, the black colorway. I really, really like this colorway. This is hands down my favorite shoe for the year 2020. Um, I can't wait to wear these. I've worn these twice before back home. So I'm looking forward to wearing them here a few times. And then I have the LeBron 8 Graffiti, which is also my favorite year. I mean, my favorite shoe of the year for 2021. Man, I really goofed that one up. Anyway, so yeah, I'm looking forward to wearing these. I've, I wore these um, the day before I got here. They came in the mail and I put the video up while I've been here. And then I have these Westbrooks that I run in. These things are like completely beat. Like if you look at the bottom of them, like they're, you know, they're, they're gone. Like there's not much life left in them. But I have them covering up the microwave oven because it's really bright at night and I like sleeping in darkness. So there's that. Um, what are these? I, don't, I can't think of what these are called for whatever reason, but there's two of them. Like my mind went completely blank and I'm not going to try and remember what that is right now. But anyway. So there's the fridge. That's actually kind of loud. Okay. I don't use the fridge at all. Um, there's my little shower shoes. This is what saved me from getting foot aids. Um, yeah, I just have an extra orange shoes that I grabbed the other day. Okay, it's so iron. That's what it is. I remember that because that's like the iron board thing. Okay, yep. We're figuring things out. It's a shame I'm in the Air Force. I didn't know what that was called. Um, but yeah, so one thing that's different is this. Like every piece of furniture in here says proper U.S. government. Then it says what it is. When it was acquired, that's completely different. I don't remember that from last time. Um, I don't use this at all, but you know, it'd just be some extra space if you need to put extra clothes in here or if you had a TV, something like that, I guess. Or if you want to hang your uniforms, I guess. I don't really know. I don't think, I know the last time me and my old roommate, Berglin, we just would put like extra food in there, but other people might use it for other things. That's just my extra clothes that I actually plan on wearing. They're not really pajamas because I don't really wear pajamas, but you know, they're just comfortable clothes that I don't mind wearing for the next few days while I'm in quarantine. And here's the extra bed that, um, you know, if I had a roommate where they would be, apparently you can have up to two roommates. I didn't know that, I always thought it was just one. Um, here's my Supreme North Face backpack. It's pretty much one of the only things left that's Supreme that I still like own. Um, this is just the basic Air Force BMT backpack they gave us and then all that right there with the boots on like next to the boots that's just all my military uniforms that are like stuffed in there i hate carrying that thing it's really awkward and heavy um and then there's my suitcase right there it's just got most of my civilian clothes and then you know there's my macbook air i'm hoping i can use this whenever my class starts and then basically the only thing i have left to show is lebron 18s that i'm hooping in I don't know if I'm gonna get the chance to open them here because they are an icy bottom. And from what I can tell, the only courts that are open are outside courts. I just don't wanna mess those up. So more than likely I will be playing in these LeBron 17 for the most part. This is probably the shoe that I hooped in the most last year. I think it's this, the more than an athlete colorway. I could be wrong. I can't remember that's top of my head, but yeah, I am looking forward to playing basketball on here. But one other thing is like, I'm pretty sure that these are the exact same photos I had in my other dorm. It's just like generic stock room photos. You know, it's the same thing, just like a couple ships on the ocean. Um, that's probably it for this one. I mean, for this part of the video, I'll go ahead and jump back into the other view. All right, guys, so that's it for the room tour. Um, I'm trying to show you or tell you what, you know, this typical day or week is like, you know, while you're in quarantine at Keesler. I'll try and add like a picture of this so you can see it a little bit better and more in depth. So Monday and Wednesday at six o'clock in the morning, you have accountability. Most days, you know, it actually be, it ends up being around 5.55 that you're actually 
like you know they actually ask you to be out there so it's one of those things where if you know you're not early you're late so definitely try to wake up early or as early as you can for monday that's the only mondays and wednesdays is the only day that it's that early and then seven o'clock they bring breakfast they put it into the hallway and you know you go get it um and then re you can get recess which is optional at 7 45 a.m i try to go to it but I don't always make it every time just because I don't want to stay up that <laughs> for you know when it's that early. Um, 11 o'clock is lunch. They bring it you know into the hallway. Same thing as breakfast. Then you have dinner. Same thing. Recess at 7 p.m. Same thing as the one before. And then you have accountability at 8 p.m. That hasn't happened yet. The entire time that I've been here, we've only had accountability in the mornings, Monday through Friday. Um, Tuesday and Thursday, same thing. Except breakfast at 7 7 a.m. and then accountability at 7:40. So if you don't wake up at 7:40 that's how long you could wait or more like 7 30 because one yeah like i said if you're not early you're late sorry to be repetitive but it's literally you know if you're not early you're late um and lunch is 11. oh and then tuesday and thursday is when you can do laundry um i've taken advantage of that both times just because you know you do go through a good amount of clothes even though you're just quarantining um and then after laundry is dinner it's the same thing as the other days and 7 p.m. is recess. I try to take advantage of recess because you can't go outside otherwise. So I like, you know, to get out of this dorm and like, you know, fresh air, stuff like that. I look forward to that personally, but a lot of people don't take advantage of that. Like, I think there's probably a good seven or eight people like in my hallway right now. And a lot of them don't take advantage of it. There's this one really weird kid. He's on this side of me. I don't know what's wrong. He makes really weird noises all throughout the day. Um, I don't know if he was just like homeschooled and weird or what, but yeah, there's that. Not all homeschooled people are weird, but that's the kind of behavior I expect out of some homeschooled people. Just want to clear the air on that. I know people are sensitive nowadays. Um. Okay, so I think I stopped at accountability for Friday or for Thursday, which is at eight o'clock. And again, that's never happened. Monday through Friday, that's never happened. I've only had accountability one time in the day. Um. Friday is pretty much the same thing as Monday. Nothing changes. Sunday, and, I mean, Saturday and Sunday, um, breakfast is at 9 a.m. And then they bring lunch around like 11 to 12. It just all depends. Um, there's no accountability on Saturday and Sunday. So, but I think there's, it says that there is at 6.30 p.m. But like I said, I've never had that mob here. And then 7 p.m. is recess. Um, that's another thing too. Like when you first get here, there's going to be a guy who I think is called... Let's see what the person... It's going to be an airman leader. And they call him your sponsor for whatever reason. I don't know what he's sponsoring, but that's what they call him. And you know you have an in-processing text... I mean, checklist, which is just where you call and text the airman leader or the sponsor, the rope, whatever you want to call him. And you just, you know, provide him basic information and he's supposed to help you succeed while you're in quarantine. And, you know, like from when you first get here and then when you transition over to your new dorm once you are done with quarantine um oh the same kid that makes weird noises got tested for um covid we don't i don't know if he's positive or not but that that's another thing that happens apparently people really are getting covid in quarantine who would have thought you know it's crazy right um but i'm pretty sure that's gonna be a wrap for this one guys i know like i said earlier it's you know complete different um like ball game that i'm playing right now giving this content over the shoe thing but i want to be consistent and let you know what's going on in my life so yeah there's this video um, hopefully you know i did the best with what i had and it's not too boring to you and for those of you that might be part of a new audience that are actually interested in tech school if there's anything that you want me to add in the next video when i actually transition into you know my regular um tech school classes out of quarantine let me know what you want to know, and I'll try to include that next one, whether it's pertaining to, you know, being a break in training, um, what's the other one, or a reclass, that's just pretty bad, I can't remember what I actually am right now, um, but if you're one of those two things, or if, even if you're just active, and you know, you're, you're going, like, you're a pipeline, so you're going straight through the whole thing, just let me know, um, and I'll try to, like, give you the best information that I can, um, and that's probably gonna be it for this one, guys, so, until next time, it's your boy G, and I'm out. Peace.